we start here at 10 with loved ones putting out flowers on this fence post to honor a man hit and killed by an alleged drunk driver, the 57 year old victim doing yard work on one of his properties. And we have some video of the scene. It was on South Irving and West Mississippi. Police telling us that the driver charge in this crash has had five DUIs dating back to 1988. Fox 31's Greg Nanto speaking with friends and family today and talking to them about that sudden tragic loss. Greg. Erica, yeah, Denver police say the official release of the victim, the name, the identity will come from the Denver coroner's office. We did speak, though, with the victim's family, actually his sister-in-law. She says her brother-in-law was a gentleman, a real gentleman. At first glance, it might be hard to spot, but this home on the northwest corner of South Irving and West Mississippi in southwest Denver is now a front yard of sorrow relatives placing flowers on the one fence post that remains after a man was struck by an alleged impaired driver in broad daylight Monday afternoon. Relatives say the fallen is 57-year-old Nam No. This man says it was his good friend. Hey, we're a good guy. That man describing the path the alleged driver took to hit No just after 3 p.m., a time when parents are picking up their kids from nearby schools. He stayed in uh, Mississippi. Okay. Yeah, and he turned around on uh, Irving Street, but he hit like, I don't know why he go over there, but he come over here. I don't know why. A neighbor across the street tells me No had his back to the street at the time. Never saw it coming. His buddy says No was on the property inside the fence line the whole time. Stay inside the pen. Yeah. You know? Yeah, but I don't know why. I don't know what happened. Denver police say they have arrested 56 year old James Corpus on investigation of vehicular homicide due to signs of impairment. Flowers in a singular post, a reminder of perhaps how lack of judgment can have fatal consequences. With that, No's best buddy is off to finish the yard work no started yesterday. Maybe for just a few moments, it takes his mind off of what happened at the corner of Irving and Mississippi when it didn't have to. And that sister-in-law tells me that funeral services are pending. In Southwest Denver, Greg Nieto, Fox 31. All right, Greg, thank you.